Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Right guys, a little rundown of what's going on in the workshop. We've got the cylinder head here for the Cosworth. Um, this is the one for Phil, the one that's going, it's come over from America. So we've ordered the paint for the rocker cover. So we're just gonna paint that when it arrives, um, lick over the top and that's all done. The head has all been gone through, inlet manifold, all been blasted, painted, etc. Um, so that's looking pretty fresh now. You notice we've got a bit of a gap here in between these engines. Um, that's the two brothers Cosworths and they are over the back there. And we're gonna set the vernier timing up on those in a minute. Um, I think Monday's job here, we've got all the plating for this engine. So this one is gonna be put back together, timed up, and then that can be on its way. The Healy engine. So we've ordered all the bits for this. You can see most bits painted and what have you. Um, we're gonna set this up Monday too. I'm gonna to bore it to plus 60, cause that's at 40 at the minute, and then face the block and that is all ready to go. Right, so this Cosworth here for, for Phil, um, the one that we've got a bit of a time schedule on, this has all got to be done now in within two weeks. We've come up against a little problem and we've had to order a set of comrods. Now we were going to go for the originals because the originals are nice and strong. This is going to be about 450 horsepower. But what we thought was a bit of crud, um, when it come to clean them off on the wire wheel, um, it turned out not to be a bit of crud. It turned out to be a big pile of rust and have you ever seen the surface of the moon because that is what these look like so yeah fairly nasty um not interested in using those so i've had a word with phil we've ordered a set of h section rods and they are on their way so as soon as they arrive we can get this thing together right guys so the two cosworths that we've got for the two brothers uh just going to do the vernier timing on both of them today uh, so i'm going to show you how to do that um, but first of all I've just gone to do the tensioner up on the belt and this has happened so that is the end of the tensioner stud that goes into the cylinder head and as you can see it's very kindly pulled the thread out although we didn't have an issue before something's obviously gone on with that stud yeah that is absolutely mullered it almost looks like it's only been holding on the end two or three threads there so really it's a good idea if you sort of take these studs out for your tensioner mark I mean, it's a bit like modern engines the Volkswagens are terrible for it the uh, the thread in the end of the cylinder head fails not normally on the Cosworths this is the first time I've seen it for ages to be honest but um, yeah that is not good so what we're going to do is stick a helicorn in the cylinder head and put a new stud in there and try again so there we go got another stud in stock but as you can see that stud that was in it isn't even an original um, and also it's got that flat on one side which I don't know what's going on there I don't quite know what goes on in people's minds sometimes but um, you know I don't think it crosses their mind that if this does fail then it's going to cause catastrophe it's going to bend all the valves possibly completely shit the engine up Right, so we've got that tensioner bolt in now, we've got it helicoiled um, and I've done a test, sort of torque that up and it torques up lovely, um, so I'm happy with that. So first things first, what I've done is I've set the DTI up, you see my little um, Heath Robinson clamp set up here and I've got a probe down on top of the piston, um, so that's just touching on top of the piston there. So what I do first thing is we get the timing disc on the front pulley and we get a little marker set up like this with a, a little pointer on the end just so we can get um, true TDC. So first things first, what we do is we wind it just back off TDC and then we wind it forward and see where, the, see where TDC is on this dial and set it to zero. So with the belt off, we've set the cams up um, we want the vernier pulleys set in the centre of the adjustment there and we want the, the cams roughly up where they should be. Um, so with the belt off, what we do is we just wind the crank back and you see on the pointer there, when we wind it forward, you can see it come to a stop and then go through. Okay, so what we want to do is set the, 
get the center of that dead spot there on the marker down here on zero okay so what we do is if we come up to where it stops so roughly there so where that marker is on the zero what we want to do as you can see where it stops and stops for a second or two then goes back that's that's to do with the dwell on the uh, on the top of the TDC so what we want to do the sort of dead spot so what we want to do is find the center of that dead spot and what I do is with that set on the zero I want to go back probably 10 thou on this marker here so I'm going to go back so just before it gets to the zero you go to that marker there so we'll pick a 90 you can do it on any but it's just closer to the zero the better so what we do once we've done that we set this marker on on top top dead center and then what we do is we wind it through the zero and then back to the 90. so there we go now what we do is we have a look how much that has moved and as you can see that has moved 12 degrees so if we move that marker six degrees which is half of the 12 so that marker there is set on six degrees now we know that when we set that on the top that is the center of that dead spot so it should be on the zero so There we go. So that now is true TDC on the crank. Our next thing we want to do is we want to put the belt on, tension it up, find the angle that this cam should be. Um, so it's usually around about like 110 degrees before TDC on the crank will be perfect lift on the cam. So we'll go and see what it should be for that cam and then we'll turn it through and see what it actually is. So using the same theory or the same practice as what I did to find TDC on the crank, we set the probe up down there on the bucket and we find a marker. So I've used the seven there, or the 70, um, just before it comes to the center of the dwell. So we go 70, see what we are down on the crank and we go through and then back to 70 and it had moved 18 degrees so we've half that took away nine and we are it works out at 114 degrees um, so we're literally only one degree out so basically because the the crank speed is twice the cam speed um, to to get one degree on there we've only got to move half a degree on this vernier and, uh, and we're gonna be bang on. So what we're gonna do is slacken these bolts. We're gonna move the crank so it's half a degree and then we should be there. We'll turn it over twice and double check. So we move that half a degree on the cam poly and I've gone through two lots of 360 degrees, checked it. Uh, we've gone from zero to zero so the initial zero was 105 degrees on the crank. Back to zero is 125. So half of that is 115. So that is the inlet cam set, perfect. So now we're gonna do the exhaust cam. So our pointer is down on the hydraulic. See the cam is almost coming up to its full lift. What we've done is we've set it on 120 on the crank. We're just gonna zero this gauge and we're gonna turn through so the pointer comes back to zero. And we see down there it has moved to 98. So that has moved 22 degrees. So if we go back 11, we're gonna end up at 109 degrees. So we literally wanna move another half degree on that cam pulley and we should be there. So that is done guys. So once I've done the exhaust, I always go back, just check the inlet, make sure that that's right. 
Uh, next step is I turn it through, get it on TDC, down on the bottom on the crank there, and just, just gonna adjust this um, distributor slightly. So it's in the center, the mark down there is in the center of the rotor arm. And then, uh, and then that's ready to go. Happy days. Thanks ever so much for watching guys. That engine there's done. Hope I managed to explain it um, fairly simply, but you know what it's like. It's a bit difficult when you sort of know something and then you, then you try to educate everyone and teach them how to do it, but hope it makes some sense. Um, just gonna set about doing the other engine now and then them two can get on a pallet and um, on their way. So until the next time guys, hit the subscribe button, comment down below, and um, I'll see you in another one. Cheers.